Hey guys, this is Eric, your California driver. If you're coming here directly from my 10 tips to become a top DoorDash earner, you'll notice that most of those tips are closely correlated with how you interact with the passenger and how you navigate geolocation and things like that to make sure you're in the best spots and make sure you're maximizing your time in those ways. These additional five tips will help you to better use your vehicle to make sure that you're making the experience for the customer the best, as well as just some, some personal things that are gonna alleviate stress and help you to be able to maintain your time on the road and not have to take breaks. This first tip is kind of a no-brainer. Uh, it's something that most people should be doing anyways before you leave home for anywhere because it can be a real hassle if you're in a hurry. And oftentimes when you're doing DoorDash, you kind of feel in a hurry, is make sure you fill up your gas before you head out or just make sure you have enough gas before you start dashing. There's nothing worse than being in the middle of a trip and finding out you're gonna run out of gas and having to deviate off course. I happen to live in a very urban setting and so it's usually not more than, than five, 10 minutes out of my way to get gas, but some of you that live in more suburban or rural settings, that can be a real problem for you if you're in the middle of a trip or have to decline a trip because you, you need to find a gas station. I can tell you this happened to me once and only once, and I'll make sure it never happens again. I was driving an Uber passenger and I had to get gas before I finished the trip. And that was extremely, extremely embarrassing. I don't know what the passenger rated me. I didn't really care whether it was a one or a five. It was really embarrassing. Kind of a knock on my character on, on preparation and just making sure I'm being responsible. And the, you know, the same would hold true if you're picking up a dash and then all of a sudden you have to take a 20 minute detour to go get gas. Not only does that crush your earnings, but it provides a really crappy experience for the customer. So just make sure you get gas. If it's if it's easy for you to do, like for us, it's easy for us to do. Once I turn on the app, if I accept a dash, I can go get gas very close to the house before I go pick up the food. Awesome. If that's not the case for you, make sure you're getting gas at the end of your night when you're done dashing or you know at some time during the day before you plan to dash again so that you don't have to take a break from your work to go do that. Number two, make sure you bring snacks with you on the trip. So when we leave the house, we always like to take either a meal that my wife's made or we like to take healthy snacks with us. This does two things. This makes sure that you're bringing stuff that you like with you on your trip and you don't have to go out of your way to find something that you're willing to eat. And it's gonna save you money. It, I'm telling you, it adds up. If you're eating out every single day, once or twice while you're out on the road, you are costing yourself money. Just buy something that you like in bulk. You can buy it off. I, I don't have specific examples of what you like to eat. I know for me, I like to have jerky or protein bars or something like that. And also make sure you have water with you. There's nothing worse than being dehydrated and being in a poor headspace and having to take a break so that you can get something to drink. Not every restaurant gives out water. If you don't, if you don't have the opportunity to go through a drive-thru, uh, you know, it can be a little problematic for you. So I like this particular one. This is uh, by Vapor. This I think I got this for literally 10 bucks on Amazon about a year ago. It's a liter. I can drink it, and then when it's done, I can actually curl this up and fold it into my pocket. So it takes up virtually no space in my car once I'm done using it, and it makes sure that I always have a beverage while I'm out on the road. I'm not gonna put anything for food. I don't know what you like to eat, what, what's healthy and, and fun for you, but I'll leave a, a link for this this uh, Vapor one liter uh, BPA-free bottle because I just think that's a that's an awesome thing to have in your life regardless. It has a carabiner on it. You can take a hiking or whatever, but I like having it in the car because it's like, it's portable. I can literally roll it up and put it away when I'm done with it. Number three, make sure you have a blanket in your car. And I'm going to give you two reasons why you're going to want this. The first one is a, a mild horror story that happened to us. I had like a, an order of like six pizzas and we have leather seats in the back. So I had an order of six pizzas and I put them straight on the, the back seat. What do you know? Like, duh, I, the grease leaked out and actually stained part of my seat, never to be recovered from there. So what I've decided to do from now on is I have a blanket in the back that is plastic lined. So even if, if grease or something gets through the blanket, you can make sure that it doesn't get on your seats and it'll keep the food warmer. You can actually wrap it up over the top of the food. You know, like us, we like to like to do upwards of three or four orders at the same time, sometimes when we get lucky. So we don't have enough DoorDash bags for that. We only have two DoorDash bags. So we'll we'll wrap the, the food in the blanket. Also, it's nice because it's plastic lined on the bottom so you can take it. I mean, this is a great picnic. I think this actually is a picnic blanket. It's called Picnic Time and I'll leave a link for this as well. 
This thing's pretty sweet. It fits across the entire back seat and we can fold it up over the top of stuff and it actually uh, rolls up and fits in a pouch when you're done with it. So it's, I mean, again, just a really good tool to have in your car. It's gonna make sure that you never, never have grease go into your seats like we did. That was a really, I was so mad and you don't want this. You, you just don't want this to happen. In fact, actually DoorDash encourages you when you click through all the things, make sure you have space blankets. And this, it actually tells you to have a blanket in the car. I've never done it until this happened to me. And I'll never go back because it's just a really nice thing to, ha to have in your car. Make sure you don't get any spills or anything in there. So again, check out this link. If this, you know, you might have something already at the house that's will work for you. I think the idea of having something that's lined on the bottom. So that way, if, if grease gets through, this is, you know, kind of like a, a felt uh, fabric on top. Grease could definitely get through that, but it's not getting through the, the lining on the bottom. Okay, number four, and this is actually really important, especially if you're working off two phones, you will encounter this more than enough times that you're gonna be like, dang, Eric, I thank you so much for helping me out on this one. Make sure you, you find a solution for your car to add additional cup holders. My car has four cup holders. My car's got two cup holders in the center, and I can pull down that middle section right there and provide me two additional cup holders. That's only four. There have been plenty of times on a single order I've had four drinks. So I got this, uh, this came from Japan for my Prius, this is from CarMate, but there's actually uh, a few different solutions I found online, at least in my car, in the Prius, fits under your, your flying buttress in the middle. I can have two additional cup holders down here, and that gives me six total. Your car is gonna vary. If you don't drive the same car as me, this piece is pretty irrelevant for you. I'll try to put a couple links for some plausible solutions for your vehicle, some more universal things, whether it be a, a vent or, or something else like that. But I'm telling you, you want extra cup holders if you can. The reason why is because sometimes those flimsy paper things they give you at some of these restaurants, they just simply don't hold up. When you have 44 ounce drinks, seriously, four 44 ounce drinks and some little flimsy paper thing, it doesn't work. We've spilled at least two drinks in our time dashing. And once I got the solution, I don't think we spilled a drink other than that video that you saw where my wife like literally dumped it on somebody as she was getting out of the car. That's a, that's a completely different story. Get yourself some fixed cup holders that you can add onto the car to provide some extra storage space when you get some of these larger orders. It'll save you the hassle. It'll save you the fear. You know, you're still, you're not gonna have to drive two miles an hour and make sure that you, all the drinks don't tip over. You can still just operate the same as you normally would. Number five, and for most of you, this probably isn't a problem, but for me, I'm a little bit prideful. I know I've talked about in one of my other videos how, you know, not that I feel that, that delivering food is beneath my humanity, but it's just not something I wish I had to be doing at this juncture in my life. I don't like taking the DoorDash bag and I like just being able to go in like a normal person and pick up the food. And maybe I, I care too much about what other people think. I'm telling you, if you bring the DoorDash bag into the restaurant, you get treated differently. And there's two reasons why. If there's a line of people outside, especially what's been going on right now with the pandemic, where oftentimes there's a, a line of people waiting to get, you know, they're only allowing so many people inside the restaurant or what whatever uh, the case may be. And you wanna walk past the line because you know your order's ready and you don't wanna get treated poorly by the people in line thinking that you're cutting the line. This is no different than having a blue handicap placard in your car and being able to park right in front of the store, right? That's what this gets you. This gets you a free pass to get by every single person in line. And also when you get into the store, you get treated differently by the employees because they know that you have the ability to rate their restaurant. And the better job that they do, the better ratings that they get. I don't know, some restaurants don't care. Seriously, some restaurants literally don't care. They treat you as crappy as everyone else. But I know there are some restaurants, especially ones that may have been rated poorly a bunch, that they wanna make sure that they don't get knocked off the DoorDash platform. Their owners, their managers are making sure that you get prompt service when you come in there with this bag. And also, they know they also know what you're there for. They know you're not gonna be waiting for an order. They know that the order that you're coming for is probably already ready, and you're likely to get more prompt service just by holding up this bag, regardless of whether these people care about their ratings or not. I would advise you, let down your pride, like me. This is something that I have a problem with. I like to go in empty-handed, but my wife has taught me time and time again, bringing the bag in helps you get your food faster and gives you better service. So just do it. Guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope this helps to add just another arrow in your quiver of things you can do to maximize your earnings while on the road. 
minimizing your stress, providing a better experience for the customers, and just overall, just making this a, a, a great job. Like, because it really is. When you treat it right, this really is a great job. It's a great way to supplement your income. For some of you right now, this is a great way to provide your entire income. And if you're doing it right, you're gonna make more money and you're gonna have fun and it's gonna be stress-free. Guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and share it anywhere you'd like. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We just passed 3,500 subs. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you. Have a great day.